Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Hay and I believe in dragons. My first trigger that I had when I was uh, so much younger, I was uh, just 17 years old, I came um, across a dragon that was for sale. And it was cheap, very cheap, and I said, oh, wow, this is actually very, very beautiful, I want it. So I bought it. And I gave it a nice place in my room. A little later, when I was 18 years old, I had my awakening. I had my awakening and I didn't want to admit it back then, but in fact it was an awakening. I saw the dragon, I felt the dragon, it was all about the dragon. And I was just... I, wa I had a trigger. I had a trigger and that is what a lot of people do. Have uh, They have uh, triggers before they go on the dragon's path. And this trigger is mostly caused because of a... Of, of an image that they see of the dragon. Um, most of the people have this from movies or games of, of uh, dragons, where dragons are involved. Um, like in games like in Skyrim, even though they kill dragons in it, um, they can have a trigger because of it. Um, but in fact I had this, this from uh, an image that I had, that I bought, a very cheap image, that I still have on my altar today. The beginning of all, the beginning of everything. So I was immediately in a trance because of this. And that is what also a lot of brothers and sisters can have, like I said. Uh, a, a simple game like Spyro the Dragon, back in the day, Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> but it's in fact a children's game, children family friendly game. But it's, I have to say that this game also did a lot of triggers for a lot of brothers and sisters, even though it might seem childish. Um, it's, it's something that can happen. Even at a normal dragon plush can do that. It's this energy that you don't want to admit that you have. That you give to the dragon, their guardian. Your guardian then finds a way to the last gate and, ch and has an opportunity to touch you. To be with you. And just this single touch that they have can open up a lot of energy. Simp uh, simply caused by a simple trigger. Spyro the Dragon, I have to say, I have to admit that I bought this game because I, I was growing on the Dragon's Path. It was not simply called Spyro, it was Legend of Spyro, a more epic game where, in fact, I, to, to my surprise, they had a lot of interesting dialogue about, um, about balancing light and dark. I don't have it from this game, by the way, I just... <laughs> I, I knew this before. But it, because, it was because I heard it for the first time and told by dragon images that I was surprised that I even wondered who made this game, who made it, who made all of these things that dragons have, for, for example, being close to the elements and have these powers of the elements over the elements that they can use, that they are magical. Um, it's something that didn't, that wasn't set at a a lot of times. I mean, most of the time a dragon is portrayed as a fire-breathing dragon that causes, causes uh, havoc everywhere. But uh, Or it was the most uh, childish dragon that is helping them in their quest or something like that. But there it was more like the dragon is the hero and the dragon is saying all of these wise words. That surprised me. Because I also bought a game that is called The Hobbit, where, of course, the well-known... Um, Smaug, the dragon, was based on uh, the dragon from, uh, yeah, the dragon god Favnir, the dragon god of fire. In fact, that is what almost everyone knows. But, um, in fact, uh, this dragon that I saw for the first time in this Legend of Spyro, it was, <laughs> even though it's also made for children, but it was in more of a Lord of the Rings kind of style with dragons instead of humans. And I played this game with a lot of, wow, I, I'm really excited to know what's going on, what will happen. And that is something that a lot of people can have, these triggers. Triggering your own draconic energy that lies asleep within. And uh, giving your guardian the opportunity to come to you. This only makes it more stronger. This only is the beginning then from everything. So yeah, a simple video game, by the way. I'm, uh, of course, there are 
elements inside of it that makes it family friendly and uh, even childish at moments but it's not about that it, uh, like I said your trigger can also be caused by a simple dragon plush that someone holds inside of their hand and I I try to do with my videos actually the same thing to cause a trigger with the people who have the draconic energy and wants to admit that they want to be on the dragon's path I I saw this um, with in my Facebook page where I write about the dragon every day that a lot of people have been triggered about this so and to say that this can be a spiritual path this can be something that you follow in your life this can be something that will grow eventually this is something that you can be a dragon Wiccan, a dragon witch or just someone who lives on the side of the dragon with all of their wisdom and power and energy and all the philosophy that uh, belongs with it so actually I was a little bit embarrassed back in the day because I was not like now I s still had to go through several gates because um, I didn't know what the gates were back then but it it was uh, past the first one I believed that I played this game. I don't want to see uh, movies about dragons because I know that it won't be uh, good portrayed uh, but it, I just love to see the dragon's body and I know that a lot of brothers and sisters just want to see the same. They are triggered by their body and just image of the dragon the image of it and if they say the wisdom that you feel inside of you then it's more triggered even the dragons was supposed to be a, a being of wisdom, magic and power. Back in the day when the dragon was not demonized by the church, the dragon was a very um, honored entity, I mean more of a god or a goddess. And it's just something that evolved later on. Um, and then of course came the uh, moments of demonization of the dragon. And that was very unfortunate. But now I see that a lot of brothers and sisters have the freedom again to let themselves be carried away by the dragon. And they say, yes, I can follow this. I can be this. And I'm very happy for that. Don't get, uh, get these restraints. Get these restraints out of there so that your chains can be loose. The dragon wants to be free. So the only way to free the dragon and after you have this trigger is to say, I accept the dragon in my life that it's the only thing that is the only ritual that you need to do to become uh, one with the dragon if you if you play a game like Spyro the dragon that is just enough actually to that is your uh, ritual to go on on the dragon's path and accepting who you are So let no one tell you what you have to do. So let uh, forget about everything. The dragon is very, very real and the dragon is with you. So there is no reason to hold back. Why should you? My brothers and sisters, be blessed.